Turning now to business news, Wall Street is briefly rattled by news of President Trump's top economic advisor stepping down, and Barbie marks International Women's Day with a new collection inspired by icons. Diane King Hall is at the New York Stock Exchange and has the details. Stocks recovered yesterday to finish flat after tumbling on news that President Trump's top economic advisor, Gary Cohn, resigned. Ultimately, the Dow added nine points and Nasdaq jumped 41. The Food and Drug Administration approved the first at-home test from 23andMe that identifies gene mutations linked to some types of breast cancer. The company says it can provide genetic risk information through saliva samples. Critics warn the test cannot determine a person's overall risk of developing breast cancer. Graco is recalling 36,000 table-to-table high chairs. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says at least five children were injured when the chair tipped over while they were in it. The high chair was sold exclusively at Walmart. Today is International Women's Day, and to celebrate, Mattel is releasing a special collection of Barbie dolls honoring iconic women of the present and past. The new dolls include the likeness of 17-year-old Chloe Kim, who just won an Olympic gold medal. Historic figures include aviator Amelia Earhart, artist Frida Kahlo, and 99-year-old NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson, featured in the movie Hidden Figures. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall.